guys, it's Matthew. Uh, last episode we set up the lighting for the flood table and this episode we will be doing the plumbing and getting the pump and everything set up. I'm really happy with the way the table is turning out. I've even got room up top for actually three trays um, to start clones or seedlings or whatever I want and then below that I will put the plants from those trays once they've grown a little bit bigger. So. Let's get started on doing some of the plumbing. So I have an 18 gallon tote I will be using as my reservoir and I've already set up the drainage line from the sink. It actually was pre-plumbed with all that so that's one less thing I have to do. And so we're going to have to build some kind of delivery system to get the water from down in here up into the sink. So I have a 150 gallon per hour pump and that should be more than enough for this table as well as some quarter inch uh, tubing that I will attempt to hook up to this thing and then we're that much closer to getting this thing complete. Alright, everything's looking good. All that's left to do now is put some water in the reservoir and test it. The only thing I'm unsure of at this point is the drainage uh, pipe because it's the same size as the input pipe and when you're doing flood and drain you really want your output to be greater than your input. That way you're not risking flooding your whole table and having it coming over onto your floor. Uh, I'm hoping though I can get away with it uh, because I'll have the timer set up just the way I need it to and we'll see how that goes so let's give this thing a test run Alright, everything is looking really good. I've got my times for how long it takes to flood this thing and I just need a little bit more expanded clay in there and I think it should be alright. However, there is one problem. The pump I hooked up to it was working fine but now listen to this. So aside from that pump giving me some problems, I'm going to call this build done. I have the lights, the reservoir, and the flood table all complete. The only thing I might do is put some mylar up in the future. But that is it for this video. Thanks for watching and oh, as always stay tuned for more. 85 million gnats have been caught in one insect trap in a single night. 20 million plant lice may live on a single tree. Entire forests can be destroyed by millions of bark beetles. They do have the potential power to crowd us off the earth altogether. They wage the struggle for survival.